All right. Well, we're keeping an eye on a fire concern or a fire threat that is in place up to the north. We'll share that with you. And it's going to be pretty warm and breezy now for the next few days with some severe weather building in by the uh, upcoming weekend here. So yesterday we topped out into the 70s and 80s, 57 in Hatteras, the cool spot, then some 70s out to the southwest. So generally we were a little cooler over the mid-Atlantic states, but a little warmer elsewhere other than Florida. I know it was cooler yesterday after that front pushed on by earlier this week. But there's your elevated fire weather concern. We do have some red flag warnings within those particular areas this afternoon. And uh, winds could be a little bit breezy uh, for the Outer Banks and also for parts of the Tennessee Valley. Uh, looking at the severe weather threats now starting tomorrow, Friday. It's an enhanced risk from Missouri down to uh, eastern Texas. Then that builds a little farther east on Saturday to include more of the Gulf Coast states, the Florida Panhandle. And then on Sunday, we have a threat from uh, Virginia all the way down to Florida. So again, Saturday into Sunday is kind of the couple of days that we're going to be concerned with the severe weather threat. Now uh, out there today, fairly quiet again, dry and breezy with the fire threat a little bit elevated up to the north. The temperatures will continue to warm as the storm system builds into the central U.S. Widely scattered showers and storms begin to break out late Friday and then begin to rumble east as we head into this upcoming weekend. Your heaviest rainfall, maybe some two to four inches will be found there through 7 p.m. Saturday. But look at these temperatures really starting to warm to the uh, south and west.